first entry was us brainstorming and thinking about what is a scientist, who is a scientist, what does a scientist do, and then coming to the understanding that we are scientists. And so therefore, this is a very sacred book to us. So notebooking really um, is, I think is very exciting because it, it really gets you to see what they know and it, and it gives them um, ownership of their learning. I mean, the title of the notebook is Scientist Notebook. You know, it's not my science, it's a scientist notebook. And so having them understand if this notebook belongs to you and it says Scientist Notebook on it, then that therefore you are a scientist. Well, in essence, you're kind of creating your own textbook because we don't even have a science textbook. So I guess I just like the way it wraps things up and makes it a continuum of ideas rather than just here and there and there's no place to see the whole picture. I think it's a great record of the kids learning. Uh, it's a great record of what they are thinking at the time. Uh, I think the notebooks would be really fascinating for these kids to look back at when they're graduating from high school or graduating from college. What was I thinking when I was in fifth grade? It's all captured there in the notebook. I think that one of their favorite parts is getting to decorate them. Uh, but I think that that again goes back to them being able to take ownership of it and I think when it feels like it's really theirs um, then they're going to put a little bit more effort into making it um, you know something like a, a place that really they can kind of save their thinking and their learning process. I think that like we treat our, the notebooks as, as like a really uh, a, a, a tool but also at the same time like something special like it's like this really great thing that they um, can have to like save their their learning experience. I always try to emphasize that even if you like find out later that like what you thought was wrong or something, it's always important to be able to look back and say like at first I thought this and then my thinking changed. And so they use it as a way to kind of like reflect back on where they were and where the you know where they are now, how they got there too. I think they appreciate that the notebook is theirs to keep for themselves, and it's also theirs as a tool to communicate with other students or other scientists, and I always say um, these are words that Betsy Fulweiler uses from her writing and science book. Um, I talk about their notebooks as if another scientist were going to read it, so when I look through I say, what would another scientist think about what you wrote here? Um, I wonder, well, yeah, what would another scientist wonder about what you wrote? Um, another scientist would be uh, really interested in this because that, yeah, that's that piece of data is very different from the rest of them, or just helping kids to uh, write down more of what they observe. And then have them come to the aha moment, wait a second, I am a scientist, I can be a scientist, and the scientist doesn't have like age restrictions. It really gives you a good idea of what the kids are doing, and it really gets them to think more like scientists, and so I just loved it. I can't imagine teaching science with that one now.